Welcome everyone to our Wednesday Bible study and devotional time. I invite you to turn your Bibles to Psalm 145, Psalm 145, and then we'll go over to James 4 and and also uh, Romans chapter 8 in just a little bit. But we are glad that you are here. We're thankful for your desire to study God's Word, and and we hope that this message will be a blessing to you and, and encouraging to you to live out the faith, the Christian faith, each and every day of your lives. Uh, the Bible says in Psalm 145, verse 17 and 18, The Lord is righteous in all his ways and kind in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. We serve an awesome God. And I know that goes without saying, but uh, our God is righteous in all his ways, and he's kind in all of his works. Now, uh, wouldn't that be a great thing if uh, we were, if someone was able to describe us in that way, that we are righteous in, in every way and that we are kind in all of our works? No, we're human. We're certainly not God. We're striving to be like Christ, to be like God. But uh, we know we fall short of that every single day. But our God is an awesome God. He's righteous in all his ways. He's kind in all his works. And what we're going to emphasize this evening, he is near to all who call on him. God is close to us. Now, I realize that that might be a a, a tough concept to appreciate and understand and accept because it may feel as if God is distant from us. I mean, uh, you know, God is in heaven and Jesus is on the right hand side of God. And it may feel as if at times in our own lives, we're all alone and uh, there's uh, that God may feel very far away. But God has always and will always give us an opportunity to be close to him because he wants to be close to us. Think about the whole story of salvation and in summary format, Jesus, who is eternal, Jesus, who is God himself, came from heaven to earth. He was God with us. He became closer to us in, in geographical proximity. He left heaven to come to earth and uh, lived that, that perfect life. And um, the Bible says in, in John 3 verse 16 that, that God had sent his only begotten son. And, and because Jesus is God himself, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, because Jesus is God himself. He is the only way to salvation, the only way back to God in heaven. And as described in John 14, as far as Jesus being the way, the truth, and the life. And uh, one day we are waiting, of course, for Jesus to come back again. And so God sent us Christ so that the Lord could be near to us. And he's also given us his Holy Spirit as as well. And I, I'm looking at the last part of verse 18 and right here in Psalm 145, after, being, after saying that the Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. The Lord is close to us in prayer. Now look over, if you would, to uh, Romans chapter 8. I'm turning over there now to the New Testament, Romans chapter number 8, and we'll pick up in verse number 26, Romans 8, verse 26. The scripture says, likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. And he who searches hearts knows 
what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. And so here we have uh, in prayer, we see God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, all working in harmony and unison on our behalf. We pray to the Father in the name of Christ or by the authority of Christ, and we have the Holy Spirit near to us, interceding for us. How awesome of a thought that is, that the Holy Spirit is helping us as we call on him. The Lord is near to us, and so as we call on him in truth, he, the Holy Spirit, is going to help us. And James says it this way, reflecting or very much connected to what is said in Psalm 145. James ver chapter 4, verse number 8, the scripture says, Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. We don't serve a God that's just uh, create, is dis we don't serve a distant God. We serve a, a close God. We don't serve a God who is so far removed from us that he doesn't even care for us. We serve a God who knows our name. We serve a God who knows how many hairs we have on our head. We serve a God who loves us. And we serve a God who has given us an opportunity to speak to him in prayer. If God didn't love us, he wouldn't care for us. If God didn't care for us, he would just leave us in a distant place to just live our lives. But he loves us. He cares for us. And what we're trying to drive home tonight is the reminder that he is near to us. Now, we have to draw close to God ourselves. This is, um, it's kind of interesting how James puts it. He, he says, uh, we're to draw near to God. And then he's going to draw near to us. So it, it takes two to tango. <laughs> it, we, we have a, a part in this as well. Sometimes we may say, well, I, I just don't know where God is. I, um, I, um, why is God so distant? Why is he so far away? Uh, where is he? Where are you, Lord? And uh, you don't uh, have, you're not embracing the truth of God's presence in your life. But you stop reading the word, you stop praying, you stop going to church, and uh, you may have slipped even back into a, a lifestyle of, of unrighteousness. And all the while, asking, well, God, where are you? Yet you're not reading, you're not praying, you're not worshiping, and you're not even trying to live right. But as we draw near to God in, in our study of the words, as we draw near to God in our communication to him, in prayer, as we draw near to God, as we worship him on the first day of the week, and as we draw near to God in the way that we live our lives, cleansing our lives and purifying our hearts, that's the second part of James 4, verse number 8, as we do those things, as we draw near to God, he's going to draw near to us. As a Christian, you are never alone. It doesn't matter how many people live under the same roof as you. It doesn't matter if you're the only Christian in your friend's circle. It doesn't matter if, no, if you feel as if no one else understands you. you are, you're not alone. God is near to you. And as we stay close to him, we're also going to stay close to his people. And so as we draw near to God and as we as we're reading, as we're praying, as we're worshiping, and as we're fellowshipping, we're going to see that he truly does love us and he truly does care for us. God sent Jesus from heaven to earth for us. 
And we have the Holy Spirit there helping us and guiding us, including and especially as we pray to the Lord as he makes intercession for us. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. I hope this message has been helpful to you. More next time. Take care. God bless and see you Sunday morning at 9 a.m. at 2201 Hickory Avenue in Harahan.